So as you can probably tell from the thumbnail, I am starting a new series and it's Spinal Cord Stimulator Basics. This may be a little redundant if you've watched all my older videos, but so many more people are getting stimulators and so I think it's important to go over things again. So I thought it was wise to start out with the question, do you really need a stimulator? That is a loaded question because stimulators should be the method of last resort for pain relief. You should have tried all other alternatives before going ahead with even a trial. Have you done PT? Have you possibly made lifestyle changes such as weight loss or exercise or you know an anti-inflammatory diet? Have you tried chiropractor, injections? There's so many things that are less invasive, less risky that you wanna look into before going ahead with this. Another thing is how much pain are you actually in? Are you going out shopping? Are you taking care of the house? Are you able to function even in pain? Because stimulators should be for people like myself and others who were essentially bed bound. We could not do anything. There was nothing for me to lose. And I am grateful every day that my stimulator did help. And sort of tagging on to how much pain you're in is the source of your pain. Is it an anatomical issue that can be corrected so that you can avoid having spine surgery? You want to get to the root of the issue. And if you do get a stimulator for a degenerative issue, you need to make sure to continue to monitor that situation so that things don't get worse. Because if pain signals are being blocked, pain is your body's way of telling you something is wrong. And so there can actually be danger in terms of having your pain masked. Also, if your doctor says you need a stimulator and you really just, you don't feel good in your gut about it, go for a second opinion. There's no shame in that. This is something that you need to take your time with. You need to do your research and make sure that it's right for you. You also need to do some soul searching. You know, can I handle what is going to be ahead? Because there are lots of risks that come with this. This is no easy feat. This is emotionally and physically taxing. So the next episode, I'm going to be talking about the most important decision you'll be making if you decide to move ahead with the process, and that is choosing a company. So I love you guys. I hope you're doing well, and I hope you find this series helpful.